Hello again everyone, it's Vince Forer from TradingWinds.com and this is our update for November 6th, 2017. Let's take a quick look at today's markets. We saw fresh new highs pretty much across the board for U.S. equities. The Dow gaining 9 points, uh, the S&P was up 3 points, while the Nasdaq was up on a decent 22 points and even the Russell 2000 gained 3 points. So a couple of deals on Wall Street today. Broadcom did come through with an offer to buy Qualcomm for $103 billion. While late this afternoon, we got news of Disney potentially making an offer for most of 21st Century Fox. So we're, we're starting to see, see some deals. <clears throat> and this, of course, helped um, stocks move higher. Let's quickly look at that chart of Qualcomm. Yeah, there was that pop from Friday and today traded even higher so some some pretty nice moves now it wasn't only stocks if you look at bonds we gained about half a point gold was higher very nicely up over one percent up about 13 points today um and this was mostly due to the u.s dollar pulling back against uh, a, a basket of currencies while crude had one of its strongest days uh, in a while and actually is back at a level that we haven't seen since the summer of 2015 here a real real strong move up over three percent today at the close and this was due to a political shakeup in Saudi Arabia they cleaned house there today that helped oil close or move significantly higher remember it's the weekly chart here that we've been watching this is that high that we cleared last week which is why we thought We'd be heading towards 60, and, and now we're we're more than half. Uh, we've we've closed that gap by more than half, and uh, are only about two and a half points away from that target. Now, <clears throat> last week there were a slew of earnings, one of which uh, was Apple. Apple announced it quite well. They had actually been doing quite well for a couple of weeks before that, and now there's even more bullish signs. So. Today on the daily chart, we got a nice, solid, bullish engulfing pattern here after this one-day rest, which you can't even call it a rest because it was a gap on earnings, but a nice, strong bounce today. And uh, looking across the board on this one, the weekly pushed up to new highs. Once again, fresh new highs there, and there's the monthly chart at new highs so how high can it go what what's realistic well near term if you take your fib extension tool look to your left and take the most recent low and high here i'm going to take that june mid-june low and here the end of august high and <clears throat> don't worry I'll, I'll zoom in here in a second oops let me try that again let me zoom out there let me go back one quick second there it is those are the targets i wanted to show you and here so we're sitting right around 174 we've already surpassed that 127.2 target now we're heading towards 179 which is the next target the 1618 and eventually that 2618 which takes us just above that 200 mark so believe it or not 200 totally in the cards here for apple that's what you want to look for but that's about it for now enjoy the rest of your day and we will see you on our next update